Well, I'm back in <clears throat> Belpre, Ohio, and I'm going to get back to the punch list that we've got for the bus for this next week. So I'm kind of getting things ready to go before Scott and Tyler show up. And uh, a couple of things that, that we've got on the list. We've got to get the uh, um, some studs replaced. If you see, there's a stud missing on that one. We've got a stud missing on the back as well. This one I think is probably missing one. So if you take a look, there's one there. And then we've got just a bunch of other things too. Have some fan belts. Uh, basically it's fan belts, testing the air system. I mean it's all stuff just to get it fired up and running. Um, we do have to deal with the air handling. That's one of the bigger projects. We've got all kinds of pipes and hoses but we have to get the uh, ducting set up so that the air will come in through this vent and will go down into the blower. And so that's a project I'll probably be working on. Um, one of the other things that we'll need to work on is this. So this is what a, the back of a fuse box looks like in a 1941 vehicle. And uh, it's in pretty rough shape. So I'm hoping Tyler is uh, is pretty good with electronics that hopefully he and I can can work on that and try to get that so that at least uh, we've got the power where it needs to be for brakes and things that make this legal. Uh, let's see, I've got some turn signals. I've got all the things that I need to, to kind of put everything back together. Uh, so I'll be working on electronics largely and helping out <clears throat> Scott with whatever he needs me to do this week. So uh, it's really warm here. It's probably 52, 50, I think it was 52 when I came in. So that's pretty nice that it's fairly warm. And uh, of course the engine. Now this is kind of a cool thing. When uh, I got back, there's an article in the local newspaper um, of Scott's visit. And if you remember, <clears throat> He, uh, he had a chance to go fill up gas at a gas station, and it turned into a front-page newspaper story. So the guy got some press out of it. And that was uh, good on him. Here's our <clears throat> engine mount bracket, and that's still holding strong. Of course, we have to paint it. We didn't really paint it before. There's a little, just a little tiny bit of rust stain there, but it uh, seems to be holding well. Everything seems to be good in there. So... <clears throat> We're good to go. My truck is full of all kinds of parts and things that we needed for uh, to continue this and get everything done. Tires are holding air. Of course, everything is rock solid on those. So we're in good shape, I think. It's just a matter of working the punch list, getting it started, and driving it home or driving it to Indiana. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. So that's pretty much... Uh, it for right now and tomorrow I'm sure we'll be at it again. So if you take a look at the bus on the outside there's a lot of things that need to happen. You can see that there's a cargo door missing. I have it inside but there's broken windows and there's other things that are cosmetic. I'm not really gonna concern myself too much with the cosmetics today. That's something that I can work on over time. I want to be able to drive it today. And so that's part of the process for me of restoration, is to slowly go and find parts and make it better and better. I'm already getting some leads on some trim parts. Some people have reached out to me and offered to help me find some things. And to me, that's part of the fun of owning a vintage vehicle, is slowly putting it back together. So I'm putting a lot of energy into getting it physically running. I'm going to put some energy into getting the camper going. But the rest of it is going to take years, and that may be part of the fun of owning this bus. One of the things that I'm looking for right now are these lights. If you could look. So right now, here comes Scott. He's heading down to our work site. And uh, I guess we get started tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning. Uh, what would that be? November 19th at uh, about 9 a.m. So we'll... Uh, We'll be back at it tomorrow, and we'll see kind of how things go.